state-issued ID cards and driver's licenses for non-citizens in Illinois uh, are going to look the same as the standard ID that citizens get if a law that's soon to be sent to Governor J.B. Pritzker's desk is signed. House Bill 3882 passed along partisan lines, and it has yet to be sent to the governor, but it's uh, likely going to be sent soon. The governor already has 421 bills on his desk that he has yet to act on, so it's going to be a, a busy uh, couple of weeks ahead of him signing all kinds of legislation into law, uh, but soon to be on his desk is House Bill 3882. Welcome back. Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. And yesterday, uh, some of the uh, Democrats who support this bill, uh, they held a news conference with the Secretary of State for Illinois, Alexi Janoulias, and uh, they talked about this. Uh, and ultimately, what you have is the Temporary Visitor Driver's License. It's a program that was enacted by Illinois back in 2013. Since then, there are 300,000 plus non-citizens in Illinois that have a temporary visitor driver's license, a TVDL. And they have to, you know, provide certain documentation, so they're not necessarily undocumented. They're just non-citizens. Uh, so they have to, of course, lived in the, the state for a year. They have to have no Social Security number, uh, but uh, they also have to either have a, a console card or a, a passport of some kind. Uh, and they also, if they get a driver's license, a temporary visitor driver's license, then they have to, you know, pass the test, the driving test, the written test, the eye exam, and all of that. Uh, regardless, the, the program gives those, quote, temporary visitors a driver's license in Illinois. And it's a program that's been going on for the past decade. Well, they're looking to change that with the law because on the license, it says not valid form of ID. The law that they're looking to have the governor sign uh, would remove that license language and merely replace it with uh, federal rules apply. Why? Because we have a real ID standard that the federal government passed back in like, what, 2005 or something? It's been delayed for years to be fully implemented. The real ID standards, critics, civil liberties, uh, they, they say that we don't need a national ID card, which is what the real ID would be. But in Illinois, to comply with the looming federal real ID standards, which are going to be implemented in May of 2025, unless it gets delayed again, uh, Illinois has had a couple of different paths you can go. You can either go through the rigmarole of providing all the documentation and having to wait a couple of weeks or so to get a real ID compliant Illinois ID or driver's license. And that would uh, you know look different. I think it has like a little star on it. So you can go that route. It's a little bit more laborious, paper intensive, or you can go and get a standard ID, which is not real ID compliant. Uh, and that's the standard ID, which ultimately is going to allow for the non-citizen IDs to reflect the standard ID that uh, citizens can get in the state of Illinois. State Senator Ron Villavallum said that this is important because of the uh, the stigma that can go along with uh, having to hand over a ID that says this is not a form of identification. Here is uh, Senator Ron Villavallum. And it also has a more philosophical but real life impact as well, which is ending the stigma. The stigma of having a different kind of ID just simply because of who you are. And that's just not right. And I'm proud to say that we uh, were able to work on this legislation. Uh, we answered the questions on, on both the House and Senate floor uh, to really show that to the TVDL program, Although it, at the time, 10 years ago, it might have had a purpose, it no longer has one. And here and today, uh, and when the governor signs it, we're closing that door and entering another one that says, no more stigmas. You will be able to access prescriptions and show your ID at a restaurant or store. And you don't have to have that thought about going back to your home country. Uh, should there be a dangerous condition. So the bill has yet to be sent to the governor. Last I checked yesterday afternoon, uh, but uh, the governor has 421 other bills on his desk. So uh, we'll watch and see what ultimately happens with this legislation. But you had Secretary of State Alexi Janoulias there in Chicago as well during this news conference. Uh, and he said that uh, this is important and uh, a, a move to uh, bring more parity with the uh, standard ID 
and essentially doing away with the temporary visitor driver's license ID card uh, and wrapping it in with that standard ID card. Here is the uh, Secretary of State. I listened and learned about situations our residents experienced that were directly related to the Secretary of State's office. I listened to the experiences that drivers and families had when they were pulled over and presented the officer with a TVDL and the emotion that these individuals felt that Representative Hernandez mentioned. They know and the officer knows that this form of ID essentially serves as an admission of being undocumented or having a temporary visa. TVDLs have become the scarlet letter of someone's immigration status and sadly exposes them to discrimination or immigration enforcement. As I mentioned in Illinois, we are a melting pot. Our state embraces people from all backgrounds. Our communities are more vibrant because of this welcoming culture that has been woven into the fabric of Illinois. I am proud, very proud, that House Bill 3882 will replace TVDLs with a standard driver's license or ID card. The only physical difference between a TVDL and a standard driver's license is the purple marker and the wording not valid for identification, which currently exists on TVDLs, will no longer appear. Yeah. Allowing immigrants to earn a driver's license regardless of their legal status improves road safety for everyone on the road. Applicants are incentivized to come to our facilities and take the necessary vision, road, and um, written tests. They are also required to prove that they are properly insured when they are on, road, on the road. These requirements do not change under this proposal. There is a common belief out there that undocumented immigrants have no identification. This is a misnomer. To qualify for a driver's license, they must have a passport or consular card. When the lawmakers approved TVDLs in 2013, Illinois was a national leader. We set a trend and since then 19 states have since passed similar legislation. As of today, in Illinois, more than 300,000 people currently hold TVDL driver's license. Since then, other states have gone further, implementing laws mirroring this proposal to issue standard real ID licenses to undocumented immigrants. It's important to note that this standard driver's license does not uh, meet federal real ID requirements, which we've heard the rumblings of especially from the other side, which are set to take place uh, in May of 2025. Let's set the record straight. The phrase federal limit supply will be printed along the top of the standard driver's license or ID per the Real ID Act. But the wording, not valid for identification, which is deep and personal and powerful and dangerous, will be removed. So again, the Secretary of State supporting this measure. Uh, we'll hear what State Senator Chapin Rose, who voted against the measure, had to say. So giving you all sides, as I typically do uh, whenever we delve into these uh, issues of controversy. So stay tuned. We'll hear what uh, State Senator Chapin Rose had to say. Talking about a change that could be coming to the standard ID and saying that the temporary visitor driver's license is essentially going to be wrapped into the standard ID, which is separate from the federal real ID standards. So non-citizens in Illinois will be able to get a standard ID that looks like citizens standard ID. That's not the federal real ID, though. Right? So that's a separate ID that non-citizens can't get because the federal government doesn't recognize non-citizens unless they go through an asylum process and you know get a green card or uh, you know have a, a, you know, naturalization happen uh, through a, a long process. But uh, when it comes to this issue of changing the ID card, it had to go through the uh, the legislature and it was a split vote. I talked with uh, State Senator Chapin Rose, Republican from Muhammad, uh, and uh, he shared with me why he believes that uh, this is just a bad policy. Yeah, look, this is, goes to the broken nature of the United States immigration system. And, um, you know, Democrats uh, who, you know, obviously have the White House and uh, nominally control of the United States Senate and complete control of the state of Illinois would rather just stick their head in the sands 
and pretend that this problem doesn't exist and actually amend the immigration code to make something that works. And, um, you know, so instead, <laughs> you know, you get people like, uh, you know, the only Democratic Party who are, you know, you know, bending over backwards to try to work around a broken immigration system to appease their core political constituents. And, and you know, I, at the end of the day, uh, I don't know how else you describe it, you know. I, this is a federal issue that needs a federal solution, not a state of Illinois, you know, gesticulation to the to the wills of the of the uh, the, the Chicago political machine uh, who does nothing but kowtow to illegal immigrants. Gesticulation. That's a that's a the word of the day there. And go look that up. Uh, Chapin Rose also reacting to Democrats who say, listen, this is needed because uh, these non-citizens are here and they need to be able to live in society by having a uh, standard ID that's not going to lead to any kind of stigma. Uh, or, you know, allow them to show their ID so they can get a drink at a restaurant or buy alcohol at a, at a grocery store or so on. What's uh, Chapin Rose's response to that? Yeah, I, I'd say it differently. How did the state of Illinois have the ability to bend the rules under the federal immigration code in the first place? We don't. I mean, like that's, I mean, that's part of the problem here, right? I mean, immigration is, is by the United States Constitution, it's solely within the purview of of the u.s federal government and you know illinois like many left-leaning states you know is bending over backwards to try to pretend the federal law doesn't exist and um you know i i, I you know I, I just i can't engage in the same um uh, sort of game of pretend that apparently you know the modern democratic party engages in on a daily basis And I also asked uh, Senator Rose about, you know, the um, TDVL or the TVDL, uh, how that uh, uh, is is a program for those in the state undocumented. But you've also got the health care subsidies that taxpayers are going to foot the bill for five hundred and fifty million dollars moving forward. I asked him if this uh, incentivizes more undocumented migrants to come to Illinois. There's no doubt that you can get more of what you encourage. Right. When you, when you throw up in a sign that says sanctuary state or sanctuary city, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but again, I, you know, I would, I think just from a policy perspective, point back to the, you know, immigration is controlled solely by the federal government and it's broken. It's just flat out broken. And, and Illinois, like, you know, most states in the country, it, you know, is now breaking because of it. Um, and, you know, frankly, I I think that you know this all of these efforts would be better spent trying to get the U.S. Um, government to try to fix something that's our, that everyone everyone other than an elected official knows is broken. <laughs> but apparently, elected Democratic officials in Chicago think it's you know broken to their benefit so they can get votes out of it. You know, by by you know by basically posturing to to illegal immigrants. So, uh, State Senator Chapin Rose sharing his thoughts after we heard from uh, Senator Ron Villavallum and Illinois Secretary of State uh, Alexi Janulius about changing the temporary visitor driver's license to make it look like the standard ID that uh, citizens can get in the state of Illinois. And again, those are not real id compliant that's a totally different id card that non-citizens cannot get so uh there you have it both sides of the argument uh here with springfield's morning news i'm greg bishop on 92.7 wmay springfield's news 